Now then, my friends, got another expat. I got Andrew here, Andrew Cow. That's Cowp. right, isn't it? Yeah, Andrew that's correct. Cowp. That's right, Andrew Cow. And guess what? He is from something in Ashfield, which is where I was born. That's true. That's where I was born too. Yeah. Now I've got to ask you a question first yeah. because today we're going to go to Manly on the ferry. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to get some great shots. It's going to be. Uh, a bit more relaxed because I'm not going to do any sort of like running around past the camera music. We're going to just go sort of like au naturel kind of thing. Yep. We're going to have clothes on because I think au naturel means that you don't have clothes on, doesn't it? But we're having clothes on, lucky for you. Uh, but anyway, can you just tell me one question first? Right? Yep. Why did you choose Sydney, Australia over Sutton in Ashfield? <laughs> I think originally sunshine, in all honesty. The sunshine, but sunshine. Life, life's just so much more relaxed and happier here. I thought the sun always shone in Sutton in Ashfield. Well, it does when I go home, but <laughs> not, not, not apparently since other things have happened in the UK. Yeah, well, we're going to have a fun time today. We're going to see a few sights. Uh, we may grab a little bite to eat. Uh, and I think you're going to join me, hopefully, for another one as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where we'll, we'll do like a little foodie video for you as well. I know people are saying, oh, there's not enough food in it, but these are there's more to life than just food. You've got the views and the sound and stuff. So yeah. that's what we're going to do today. Now, Manly, yeah. how far is it? How long does it take to get there? It's 30 minutes on the ferry. So yeah. we'll go out past the Opera House. You'll see the Opera House. We'll go, you'll see the skyline of Sydney straight across the harbour and we'll be there in half an hour. Fantastic. Right, well, if you are new to the channel, what have they got to do? Click the like bell and subscribe. There you go. Now, without further ado, my friends, Onwards. No. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Right, we're just getting a few shots before we head over to the ferry. Now, you were saying the iconic shot yeah, yeah. Um, where, that you get of the Sydney Opera House and also uh, the background with the bridge, with yeah, the yeah. Harbour Bridge in, that's over there where you saw the warship right. earlier on. And what's that called? Is that Mrs. Macquarie's chair. Mrs. Macquarie's chair. Yeah, the, and you she, got, was, she was the governor's wife, apparently, of, of the colony back in the day. Of the colony. Yeah. Um, I actually had some, it's the first time, I've been here like three weeks, yeah. and it's the first time I actually got some cash out because I've, lots of places now are just contactless only and yeah, yeah, yeah. card only. So, but I got some out uh, and the, I think the five dollar note had the Queen's head on it. That's the so only one. With is that the, the only one with yeah, the Queen's head on it? there's going to be none with Charles. None with Charles? Apparently. Wow. Yeah. Even the coins as well. It's, I, thought, I've got, I thought, oh no, somebody's given me a 50 pence coin, uh, but it's apparently an old 50 pence coin it's the size of your pocket yeah is that an old one is it still <laughs> no 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 it's like an old that's an australian one though isn't it yeah yeah i'm talking about the old oh UK the old one. uk yeah. one yeah and then that's got the queen on it and then that's a two dollar uh, two dollar yep. and that's got the queen on it as well um and i think that one is as well oh, yeah, that's yeah, got the, the queen coin, on the it coins do. yeah all the coins have got low the queen. value for the for the crown low value for the <laughs> crown. that's controversial <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now then if you take the ferry across to Manly, yeah, yeah. and the, there is a card that you can buy, but you don't need to do that, do you, if you've got contact no, no. Uh, But somebody actually said, oh yeah, but it, it tops out at... Uh... It depends on the day, so on the weekend it's about $8 I think it tops out at, and on the weekday it's about $16, $17, it maxes. But it does that even with your contactless card? Even with it? your contactless, as long as you use the same credit card. There yeah. you can. Are you, how many years have you been here now then? Um, 18. 18 years? Yeah. So pretty much, people keep saying, why don't you hang around with a real Australian? Well, I've always said, which is controversial, what is a real Australian? Because, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. that is controversial. I guess you've just said it when you've, when you've lived here longer than you've sort of like been back I, in your original. Yeah, place. when I've lived here longer than I lived in um, Nottinghamshire, then I'm true blue Aussie. Yeah. In my eyes. <laughs> I feel Aussie now anyway, but I call both sides of the world home. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you ever miss something in Ashfield? Look, I'm not going to lie, I do. I do. 
Yeah, but um, you know, family, fish and chips, definitely, 100%. Well, we do have better fish and chips, but that's, <laughs> yeah. that's for a different I'm video. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie, the fish and chips are so much better in the UK. <laughs> yeah. But the rest of food here is better. I'd give up the fish and chips for the weather and the, the smiley faces. Anyway, do you want to say the let's word? Go, let's go. No, that was at the beginning. Oh, onwards, my friends. He'd been practicing that, but he did. He's got it the wrong way up. No, we'll get there. It's relaxed today. Come on, come on. So the twisty building there, that yeah, yeah. glass building that we've just seen there on that last shot, that's the casino? It's the Crown Casino, yeah. And you were saying um, there's more slot machines here in Australia than, or in Sydney, is it? Than more pokies here in Sydney than apparently in Las Vegas. Pokies? We call them pokies, yeah, poker machines, pokies. Oh, pokies, yeah. right. Oh, well, there you go. So there's more here than Las Vegas. That's what they say. That's got to be a lot then, hasn't it? Right, so we need to get this ferry anyway. I think they go on every half an hour or yeah, something. Yep. So um, can you say it? Onwards. There we go. So, uh, we're going to keep stopping because he's telling me some good information. So, over there behind us where that bridge is, because I was asking you about the public transport systems here yeah, as well. You, I was got a bit confused because you've got underground slash subway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've then got your trains as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, state trains. State yeah. trains. And then you've got your trams as well. Yeah, we call them the light rail. The light rail is the yeah. tram. Yeah, yeah. So, your underground... Where does your underground system go, your subway? Uh, um, really the most, the biggest part of the city circle, which is this part of it, even though it's above ground. Yeah. And then it sinks either side to um, all the, the city circle stations. That's that bridge, is it there? Yeah, you can actually see the train station is in the middle section of that. It's called the Cart Hill Expressway. Okay, now there was talks, you said, yeah. I think the last government, um, of turning it into like a high line, which is uh, in New York where it's got grass and you know, oh, yeah. it's a walkway, etc. That's been shelved now, is it? The current state government shelved it. It's one of their promises, but it's it come back on the cards, and it would be really nice because it's sort of blocking the whole harbour yeah. from the CBD. Yeah, the high, the high line in in the states in New York is is gorgeous. It's beautiful. They yeah. put flowers back into it, trees. Yeah. And, uh, it's just a great walkway, etc. So that would be good to, good good to do. Right, let's get to this ferry. Right, we managed to get seats. We did. Which is good. This is the back of the boat, right? This is the back. Okay, so we're going to be traveling that way backwards. But that's good, because we can still get the best view. Which side is going to be the side to where all the sides are? Is it going to be halfway? So the harbour yes. will be there. Yeah. The Opera House will be on this side, and then you'll get all of the CBD on this side of the shop. Oh, so this side? Yeah, yeah. So we're actually on the perfect side then for yeah, the yeah. view. Oh, top man.
So the two houses behind me are the um, houses where the Governor General lives yeah, yeah. and also a residence of the Prime Minister. Get us up. So that behind me was Fort Denison, that was a former penal um, correctional centre or something, a prison I think, like Alcatraz. Hi, we're just about to come past um, a place called Point Piper, which is the most expensive real estate in Australia. It's talking tens and tens of millions of dollars. Wow, the views are just, actually brings a tear to your eye. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> wow. I can see why he's uh, not gone back to Sutton in Ashfield. So we just passed by um, a reef, it's one of the only active reefs in a working harbour in the world.
bit of shark bait there in a canoe. Well, I tell you what, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. But you've got to admit, it's not a patch on Sutton Res, is it? No, no, I really like Sutton Res, <laughs> especially with all the wildlife wrappers. Yeah, and all the algae and all yeah. the Coke tins and yeah. McDonald's wrappers floating in it. <laughs> Although you're saying it, I've not seen it for a long time, so I miss it. You miss Sutton Res? I used to walk around it. Yeah, I think, well, anyway. My mum and dad still walk around it. Do you want to say hi to your dad? Hey dad, hey mum. Are we going to get him on the video when I get back in Mansfield? Yeah. I'm not sure you'll get my mum, but I'm sure my dad will make an appearance. Right, dad, there's a challenge. Right, Andrew, so what are we going to do now? We're actually at Manly. This yeah, is, yeah. So where are we heading to and where are we? So we're moment? just in the um, inner harbour section of Manly in the wharf. So we're going to walk through the Corso past all the shops and restaurants and then we'll go to the Esplanade and look at the surf beach and then ho hopefully have a bit of a walk round to the Harbour Heads. And... Okay, yep. so there's quite a bit to see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent. All right, onwards. Oh, got my water, which apparently is self-service in there yep. and uh, no cash accepted, it's card only. Yep. Where are we going? Where is this world going, eh? Um, cash is king, apparently, but not anymore. Mm. Anyway, uh, we've got the War Memorial behind us yeah, here. Yep. Now, you're saying Manly is yeah, yeah. named after the Aborigines, is it? Yeah, when um, the first governor of New South Wales came to this cove, he saw the Aboriginal people were of a manly disposition and hence it became known as manly. Meaning whatever that, whatever manly disposition means. Maybe they had no clothes on kind of thing. Probably. Yeah. Ah, they are actually trying to, I've heard anyway, trying to change the names of like Victoria Street and yeah. places like that, uh, which has come from obviously, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, the UK, hasn't it? So, yeah, yeah. No, um, that's correct. Are, yeah. are they trying to get back to basics or something? Uh, Trying to remove the colonial past, really. Right. Trying to get rid of the colonial past. For better or for worse, that's for you to decide, but... Not getting political on this, I don't yeah, know yeah. anything about it, so, uh, you know, but, um, well, there's a lot of flies and wasps here arrested on a bin. So we're going to head over now to the, the beach, which is down that yeah. way. Uh, everybody, obviously, it must be because people have got surfboards and they're walking that way. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's the way that we need to be going. Yeah. There's also on the, when you land, I've noticed, by the way, sorry, but, um, when you land into Australia, yeah. they pay respect to the... Oh, they do an acknowledgement of the First Nations people. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's normal here. Why is, why is that then? Is, is... To acknowledge the um, elders, past, present and emerging, as they say, um, just, to, just to be respectful of the original people of the land. Okay. Okay, 
Everybody just lived together as one. Peace and, as, as Ringo Starr always says, peace and love. <laughs> Onwards. I'm just looking at all the buildings here. It's it's very British kind of yeah. old oldie worldy British Victorian, Victorian kind architecture. of architecture. Victorian architecture, yeah. It's really, really nice. I love it. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it too. You've got sort of like the city back there, which is yeah. just hectic and modern, and all this over the water, literally, what was it, about half an hour, 40 minutes? 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah. And you've got this, it's gorgeous. Now we're gonna go and see the beach as well. Yep. Oh, manly seaside kebabs and pizzas. Got some pizzas here, look, look at this. I found a Starbucks. Finally. And you said, can't go there. It's apparently, I've read up about this actually, without wanting to diss Starbucks, because I kind of like Starbucks. It must be the Americanism that I took on when I... Pacino's not bad. Yeah, but apparently Starbucks came to yeah. Australia and then they left because they didn't catch on. And then they've sort of come back at touristy spots now yeah. for the tourists, but the locals, of Australia have got their own coffee shop that, yeah. that are not branded and not franchised etc uh, and yeah. they're very good at coffee apparently and that's why Starbucks kind of didn't really catch on um, I mean as you, if you you've not been back to the UK in a while but everywhere no. you go you cannot go to a street corner without seeing a Starbucks yeah, and a Costa yeah. coffee Costa's Costa huge uh, in the UK which is obviously owned by Coca-Cola yep but what was it didn't know that. Yeah, I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. I'm 99% sure it is anyway. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure you will do. Anyway, let's get to the beach. Right, so um, I reckon we should take a little refreshment break. I also need a wee. You need a wee. I need a wee. And you said, take note, England, by the way. You went to Whitby and you went, because I said, oh, do you have to pay to go in the toilets? And you went, no. And I said, well, we have to pay in the UK now, and you did in Whitby, yeah. didn't you? It's, I did, yeah, 50p to spend a penny. I think it's a pound now. Oh, <laughs> I said the wrong word. <laughs> I'll beep that out. Edit that out. No, I'll beep that out. It's good. <laughs> it shows that you're real. And you're from Sutton in Ashfield. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you were born at the same hospital as well, I was, wasn't Kings Mill. Kings Mill, yeah. yeah. There we go. On my passport, it says, bought, place of birth, Sutton so in does mine. Does yours? Yeah, mine does. There you go. Right, we're going to nip to the loo. Then we're going to see the beach. We're going to have a little walk to the cove around there. Yep. But there is a good fish and chip shop here. I've said not really about fish and chips this video, to be honest. And I haven't. I've had one one fish and chips since I've been in yep. Sydney. I haven't really. Do you know what? I'll be honest. And they're gonna, I'm going to get slated for this. Do you know what I've eaten most days? Mackins. No? Sushi? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, There's sushi's little, good here. Little sushi uh, shop down from my hotel. Yeah. And I've just eaten sushi because... I like sushi to be honest, but I've had, the, I have had, fill a bit. I've had no, I've had chicken in it, not not fish, which is kind of. I'm oh, still. Yeah, yeah, you, can have, you can have chicken sushi, can't you? Well, you can in Australia anyway. I think you can in the UK. Anyway, toilet. Let's hope that they don't charge now, and then we'll grab a coffee and uh, or something and have a walk round. So uh, I won't say onwards. There's lots of people with Taylor Swift uh, tops on here as well. Swift. Swifties, aren't they, or something? Swifties, yeah, yeah. Swifties. I couldn't even mention one of her songs, the name of one of her songs. I wouldn't be able to tell you the title now. I might be able to sing one, but I'm not going to do. No, <laughs> don't go on a game show and get asked that then. No, no. Uh, you know. And what name? Name one of Taylor Swift's songs <laughs> uh, for three million pounds. <laughs> uh, not sure.
Oh, what a gorgeous beach. This, you're saying this is more of a touristy beach? Oh, this is a tour. This is a. People come here, people live here, but there's over 100 beaches in Sydney in total. Over 100? Just over in Sydney? 100, yeah. Wow. That's obviously the most famous one being uh, Bondi Beach. Bondi, I'm glad you pronounced that right here. Yeah. Well, how did they pronounce it? Well, some Americans like to call it Bondi. Bondi? <laughs> yeah. Americans? It's Bondi. Bondi. Bondi Beach. Talking of Bond, you said I should have brought my budgie smugglers with me because you yeah. could have filmed me getting out of the water. A little bit like Daniel Craig. A little bit like. A little bit like, maybe just a, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit colder. A little bit, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> on that bombshell onwards. <laughs> I, always, I said it on another video, but I always want to shout, shark, shark. But, you, you know, you usually no, said no. they have um, lifeguards looking out for them. They have lifeguards, they have um, helicopters. Helicopters they're... and drones. Yeah, drones. There's also on some of the inner harbour beaches, there's shark nets, which are debatable because some people say they're not good for the wildlife, but I like shark nets personally. Yeah, it makes yeah. make me feel a lot safer. Yeah, yeah. A lot safer, definitely. Anyway, we'll keep on walking. Apparently it's a nature reserve around there. Uh, yep. Well. Um, so uh, it's going to be nice. So what a beautiful day. But it's just like, I'll say again, walking around Sutton Res. <laughs> yes, it's identical. 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 I was just thinking it'd be nice to go in the water to cool off and uh, you're saying it's 24 degrees? 24 degrees today in the sea. 24 degrees yeah. in the sea? I personally don't go in unless it's 26. Somebody's shouting over the speaker. Oh, it's a, one of the lifeguards telling somebody off. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Will be a what? surfer in the swim zone probably. Oh, yeah. not allowed. Not allowed. I oh, know, it's strictly controlled. Is it really it? is, yeah. Really? Yep. Line. Mind you, could hurt somebody. Yeah. yeah. In fact, in one of my lad's books, if um, my daughter Harriet's watching, surfing in the uh, swim zone, you could get seriously hurt, yeah. or worse. It's one of my kids. You won't understand unless okay, you're I a parent know. with reads that book. It's anyway. Forget it. So if you look round the corner just up here, past all the bays, you get to a place called Palm Beach, which is where Home and Away is filmed, so it's Summer Bay. Does this work? Does it work? I don't know. Does that work? No? Yeah, yeah I can it see. works. You can see me. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. There might be creepy crawlies. It's a dragon. Yep, it's a water dragon. It actually is a dragon. It's a water dragon. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> just and kidding. That's, only, that's not a very big one, in all honesty. Have you seen them bigger? Yeah, especially up in Queensland, they get massive. Yeah. Do, they, do they attack? No. They look, it look pretty scared. They'll still, they'll still like food off of you. They come to you when you're barbecuing and things. Really? Yeah. And they'll take food off of you? Uh, they, they will. They're quite daring. Ooh, you've got a lot of stuff down here, haven't you? Spiders, you've got funnel web spiders, you've Mac got the... Macmasters. Macmasters, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you've got a, a wasp as well that oh, the... we actually saw when yeah, it tried yeah. to come around the as well. The spider hawk wasp, that's terrifying, I don't like those. They give you a nasty sting. If you get one, yeah, that's the most painful sting. Apparently I've never been stung by one, but you Touch don't want wood. to. Yeah. yeah, five minutes of sheer hell. Yes, yep, not something I want. No, me neither.
Looks beautiful, the water. Nothing in there other than sharks to harm you? No, 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 just a few other things. Like you could go in there and go octopus in for the blue wing octopus. Little tiny things that are one of the most venomous creatures in the world. Are you kidding me? They're about five centimetres. They look really cute, but yeah, it's really, really dangerous. And if they bite you or sting you or whatever? You just have to go to hospital and they just check. They just observe you. You either die or you live. I think, I'll st <laughs> I think I'll stick to uh, the Rebe Rebecca Adlington <laughs> Swimming Centre or Water Meadows. Water Meadows, yeah. It can be pretty dangerous in Water Meadows though. Last time I was swimming there, about five years ago, I got a Band-Aid and a, a corn plaster stuck to my ear. <laughs> I'm getting a bit peckish. What do you fancy? Not not fish and chips. Not fish and chips. No, I've done, I'm not. I'm, I've lost my. Well, I've been here. I've lost my appetite. Um, it's the heat, I think. Uh, but I don't know. Just something a little light, a little snack at. I might. Do, and I'm not saying I won't do fish and chips later, however. But you know, uh, it's a bit. <laughs> I just don't feel like it at the moment. I don't know. A little bit of salad. Salad sandwich. Sushi, you know, whatever. I just, it's, I'm just, literally, I've been studying, we've been studying for about 10 minutes, <laughs> yeah, I've not yeah. moved. I'm like, I'm getting lazy. I'm like, okay, let's just have a break. It's just amazing to see. Oh, it's, I mean, I'm just gobsmacked. I can see the divers as well. Uh, and I've done my paddy course, I could go diving, but I, I kind of, Tenerife was my limit, and then here, I'm thinking there's a lot more deadly things in the water here than there is in Tenerife. <laughs> so especially the little jellyfish and the, and the sharks with big teeth. Well, you, you want to be happily that we don't get the Irukandji jellyfish here in Sydney because if they sting you, they're about this big, but it's almost certain death. What do they do? They paralyze you apparently and possibly give you a heart attack and then you drown. So, but it's not something to worry about here in Sydney. Right, just hydrating a bit. Um, everywhere is absolutely packed. So we might go and have a walk back to Manly uh, and see if there's anywhere to get a little snack at there. Just gonna keep hydrated though first. Just taking a break, I was just saying to Andrew, is there uh, like any tip in here like there is in the US? Yeah, well, it's not the same as America, no. Tipping is, you can do it if you want to, but it's not compulsory. It's just, if you get good service, give a, you know, a dollar, two dollars. Is there any, um, like England at the moment has become this discretionary service charge where they add it onto everything. Has that crept over here yet? They don't do it unless it's a large group. If you, if you like make a booking of 10 or more, then they sometimes do. 
Yeah. But not normally, no. If you're just going with like a couple of us, yeah. there's no discretionary service yeah. charge. Yeah, and I tip, I tip according to the service. So if I get really good service, you know, yeah. I will give a really good tip. But not American style, not, not 20% or whatever. Well, in, in America, I think even the Americans now are agreeing um, it's crazy. It, that it's got out of control uh, with the tipping over there. And especially since uh, the lockdown, etc. It's got nuts. I mean, it's like 20% upwards sometimes. You know, it, when I get the card machine there, um, you'll get your receipt or whatever, as I say, suggested tip. Mm. And it's like, uh, 20 percent and then it's 30 40 and 50 and it's like what what, what is, no where, is it, no where is this going and then you know there's charges however you have said here there are charges on all your credit card transactions on tap especially tap on you know if you do the we call it tap and pay i don't know yeah what you call contactless it. Just yeah, yeah. Pay or whatever yeah 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 so you do pay most places you pay a, a small fee which is why is that because it's even places where I've noticed over here, a lot of the places now are saying um, contactless only, no cash, not cash, not accepted. But then they still charge you for using. They have to legally be able, they have to have an alternative way of paying here, but they don't necessarily make it easy. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I saw one, I've seen lots of places though, it just says, yeah. you know, card only or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is, it's your, so does that make cash worthless then? You know, you could say, I've got cash here, and you surely there is a legal thing to say. I mean, I, I wouldn't know. I'm sure it's the same in the UK. You have to take my cash, but a lot of places won't. No, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. The world's gone nuts. Yeah. Anyway, we're having a bit of a rest uh, because I'm tired. So I'm <laughs> shattered. And uh, I said, we need a snack out. And then we may, if, if, if we get time, uh, do another video in a bit, but it'll be a separate or later one where we do like a little food review and hopefully you're going to join me again as well. Yeah, yeah, We've not so. finished the video yet, so don't go anywhere. Um, but we're going to, uh, it's been great hanging around with uh, a guy who's originally from my hometown. Yep, from Sutton in Ashfield. Sutton in Ashfield. You've got to get, it. dad is dad. Yeah. You've got to get on the video when I get back. <laughs> So this is one of my favourite chip shops in um, Sydney, in Manly, and I, I normally like to have the um, Barramundi, or sometimes the Flathead, that's really good, and um, yeah, definitely worth a check out. Not a JD Weatherspoons, is it that? Definitely not a Weatherspoons. Definitely not a Spoons. No, but I'd say it's probably a bit more pricey than that. A bit more pricey yeah, than yeah, a Spoons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you're not going to get a breakfast for four pound ninety nine no, in there, de then. Definitely not. No, no. <laughs> and a pint for oh, what is it one pound ninety? Or I don't I really know. You'd get change from a ten dollar note, yeah. to be honest. Really? Yeah, that's true. Shh. I think we'll leave that. We'll, we'll give that a miss. Yeah, give it a miss. What do you got there? A pair of genuine kangaroo balls. Really? Yeah. Is that real? Better than Yorkshire tea. Just got a little fridge magnet for uh, for Caitlin there, souvenir shop. So Caitlin, if you're watching, I've got your fridge magnet. I've got to get one from Perth now, but I don't know whether I'm going to... No, they should do a fridge magnet in Perth, shouldn't they? So, so. Sydney crossed off the list, Caitlin. There you go. Always get a fridge magnet. My daughter's got a fridge full of magnets from everywhere. Right. Uh, so I've got one from Blackpool. You got one from Blackpool? Yeah. I think I got one from Blackpool <laughs> yeah. actually. Okay, where are we now? We're just at Manly Wharf and we're gonna go and grab a bite to eat and some drinks at the Manly Wharf Hotel. Okay, it's a nice view as well. 
Nice day, nice view. Yep. And that's the fast ferry behind us as well. I believe so. Excellent. We're going on the slow ferry. We're going to take a slow ferry slow back. Slow boat to um, slow boat, Sydney. Slow boat, slow boat to Sydney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Onwards. Right, hold my bag. I'm going in. I can backflip like that. I'm going to show them how it's done properly. Actually, it's a bit too... I think I'll just have any bite to eat first. Can't go swimming on an empty stomach. We, <laughs> we were just talking about Sutton Baths. Because yeah. anybody from Sutton in Ashfield will remember the top board. Yeah, yeah And it was, yeah. it was really high, or it seemed high. No, it, it was high. It was high, wasn't it? And it had a really deep end as well, and they used to dive in from there. And I didn't dive in, I jumped in, and I ended up with my shorts up my backside. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you, you did it two or three times. I only you? did it two or three times when I got the courage, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but you did say that... <laughs> Oh you yeah, yeah. There, was a, there was an unfortunate incident when one of the kids um, accidentally um, let one slip in the pool and we had to evacuate, but that was that was a long time ago. No, <laughs> nobody wants to see a floater, floater! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't floating. It wasn't. It sank. No. Oh dear. Oh no, it's even worse. I just remember it marinating. Oh. Up the pool. <laughs> you know what? Right, so uh, we're just going to have five minutes out. I'm not going to do any like normal food reviews on this one, uh, but we've ordered, uh, thank you very much. We've ordered, uh, you've, I've had a Diet Coke, you've had um, lemon and lime bitters. Lemon and lime bitters. Bitters. Cheers. Lemon and lime bitters. Uh, cheers. Uh, and I've ordered some squid with lemon and lime or something. Uh, and some pump pumpkin hummus, I think it was, with some bread. So uh, just a little snack out to keep us going, because we are going to do another video later on, uh, which is a famous pie shop, which is called, uh, what's that called? Harry's Cafe de Wheels. Harry's Cafe de Wheels, where Frank Sinatra has been, and amongst a load of other people. So we're going to do that. That will be a separate video. So if you are new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button, give this guy a thumbs up because he's been absolutely fantastic today and we still haven't finished yet, so don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Right, well, there is music playing, so we're not really going to go through everything, but um, I'll put it for you so we can see a few photographs over this. There you go, some video footage of the food. There you go. But, so we've got this bread there that looks rather inflated. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing it's full of air. I'd say so. Full of hot air like myself. Uh, and then uh, we've got the calamari there, which my girlfriend Sarah would love. Um, I never ate calamari before I met Sarah. Um, and then we've got the, uh, the pumpkin hummus dip. So, I say, let's dig in. First of all, I've got to have, ow, oh, that's hot. It should be crispy, shouldn't it? You've got a little bit of, there you go, look at that. A little bit of droop. It's a little bit of droop in there, a little bit of flop. <laughs> They've got to get a little bit of dip in there as well. So, uh, what's it like? Is it good? Is it good? It's good, but it's hot. Well, it's not rubbery. I'm chewy. There you go. Anyway, we'll eat it and we'll see you back outside. Right, back on the ferry. Yeah. And then now back to Circular Quay. Uh, so stay with us. We'll get a few shots on the way back and try and get some different ones that we did on the way here. Um, and then we'll meet up with you uh, over at Circular Quay and wind the video up there. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it so far, do give it a thumbs up. Uh, and give, give him a thumbs up. But yeah. also uh, hit the subscribe button if you like the content. And we're off in a moment, I believe. So onwards, my friends.
So we're just slowing down a minute because there's a, a boat race going on. Yeah, they're all racing here, so they're just about to start. You've got the uh, maritime police there, etc. Uh, take a look anyway. Just go good have a boat race. Don't take a look at my boat race. See what I did there. Each CLGP vessel, five crews on board. And the, far, the top speed of the vessel reaches uh, currently, uh, France has a total as 93 kilometers an hour, and it's quite fast on the board. So the oh, maritime police we were just talking about. Apparently they police the harbour yeah, yeah. the same as they do the roads here. Yeah, yeah. So they will pull you over and breathalyze you. 100%. That's insane, yeah. isn't it? Mind you, I guess you're in charge of a, a vehicle, aren't you? A motor vehicle. You're really. driving in the middle of the city. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but just driving a boat. Yeah. But what, a, what? How great was that, though? Awesome. So there was a boat race. Yeah. I said, do you, know, do you want to know what I said? Shall I, I'll tell him. Probably, but he won't find it funny either. I said, take a look at the boat race instead of this boat race. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll wait. I'll laugh a bit later. That was a forced, <laughs> that was a, that was a forced laugh, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it yeah, was. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Now there's a reason I'm looking very American with my cap on back yeah, and front. Because yeah, I put I put Factor 50 on my face, Factor 50 everywhere on my body, right? But I didn't put it on the back of my yeah, neck. Not quite everywhere. Not quite everywhere. I forgot the back of my neck and I said, I'm getting a bit hot and he went, Yeah, you look like a lobster. Well, and a Weldon steak, I think yeah, it was. Yeah. So I've now put my cap that way around to protect my neck from the sunshine. So I'm not trying to look cool because that's impossible. Me look trying to look cool anyway. Nothing looks cool on me. Right, so Not even me next to you. <laughs> so we're going to head off of here now, and then uh, we'll catch you outside there. So, go on, you go ahead. We'll catch you out there. Right, I'm going to take my cap off for a minute because that does look silly. But the back of my neck is on fire. The rest of my face is good. I plastered it in Factor 50. Anyway, thank you to Andrew here. 
you're going to join us in the next one yep which definitely. is going to be in a few seconds but for you guys it'll be the next one which will be tomorrow um and we're going to go to a place which is harry's harry's cafe de wheels in woolamaloo yeah which is a very famous cafe so and they do a floater pie or something yeah it doesn't taste like a floater that you were talking about no in, no definitely in not the, in, in some bass it's marinating it's not marinating no it's <laughs> mushy peas potatoes and Oh, just what you want. Just you want you want in the yeah. piping hot weather. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Do give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, then you, why have you got this far? <laughs> You'll have left, won't you? So there we go. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Check that you're subscribed if you keep watching anyway. Just have a look, see if you're subscribed. And uh, if you're not and you keep watching, hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell for notifications that when I upload new videos. Thanks again, mate. You've oh, made the great. day. It's been By really the way, good. A little bit of information you told me here. Do you, yeah. want to tell, do you want to tell the viewers? Oh, I'm just the I'm just the fountain of knowledge. Sorry. So this is a Circular Key. When it was first named, it was originally called Semi Circular Key. And why, a fact. why is that? Because it's semi circular so it's shaped. Obviously. Oh. So the boats can get out. So the boats can get out. Otherwise, it'd be stuck. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Up there for thinking. Down there for dancing. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye bye. You'll get loads of feedback there. <laughs> he's wrong, he's wrong, but I guarantee I'm right. I've, I've left that in. Oh, have you? Yeah, I'm leaving it in. <laughs> Comment.